Okay, so this is where we'll be resuming. This is where we ended off last time. So next up, let's go on and create a star prefab. Now, prefabs are an easy way to, to spawn things. So I'll add my star in there and then just make sure that it's a child of the canvas. Okay, so creating a prefab is pretty easy. Um, whatever sprite you're trying to work with, um, together with the properties and scripts or components that it's, that that, that uh, thing has, if you want to make multiple copies of it or spawn it uh, multiple times, then you need to use a prefab. So in this case, I'll create a new script. Uh, in this case, for the star, Okay, um, I will also get rid of, I will get rid of all of the, the source code that relates to the properties and then just set up a few properties. Um, in fact, we'll just need one for now. Okay, so property, call it pick radius. So this is also going to be a number. It's going to be zero. We will attach this script to the star. Then this um, adds peak radius there. So now that we've got the script with the star, we can then create a prefab of it any source code that will be going inside this uh, script will also be part of that prefab. So drag the stuff from the node section um, into the assets section and it should have this uh, prefab, okay? This is basically what we call a prefab. We can then use this to spawn many different other stars uh, later on in the game, right? So this is basically the end of this small section. Next up, we'll see how we can use this um, for, for, for our game's purposes. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.